Hola gang, and welcome again to Old Nerd Gamer. I'm here once again inside American Truck Simulator, and uh, not sure what we're going to do today. We're going to try and take a drive, of course, but I wanted to point some cool things out that I really like about this game. First of all, when I came in this morning, I've got a DLC browser button that I never had before. Let's click on that and see what it is. Downloadable content browser. Okay, uh, ownership type, okay, so it's empty right now, but it's something that's been added to the game. I knew that they just released an update, um, which was actually a, a couple skins, a couple steampunk truck skins, but uh, this is very new also. Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and head into the game here, signing in. We're signing into Truck World, which actually uh, pulls your um, pulls some of your information from it, and also uh, pushes some of your information out to it. Big trucking sim website, very cool. Uh, you'll definitely want to sign up when you do that. Also, there's a American Truck Simulator demo, so if you haven't bought this. Uh, go ahead and try out the demo. If you're still kind of considering it, try out the demo. I think you will be hooked. I, I know you'll be hooked. <laughs> Feel pretty confident in saying that. Uh, a couple different things that I've done recently. Uh, as you can see, I am uh, level 4 right now, progressing toward level 5. I'm not going to buy my truck until level 6 because I know I can do some uh, good things as, as far as upgrading uh, a truck when I purchase it at level 6. So I'm going to wait until then. Um, one of the things that I really appreciate and really like about American Truck Simulator, uh, like its predecessor or its brother, I guess, Euro Truck Simulator, the company or uh, just players can add mods to this so they can change things within the game. And I found a good, nice mod site. I'll put it down in the description for you. And I picked up some mods that I really like. Let me go ahead and show you what I got. Um, let's see, where is it here? Uh, trying to find it um, 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 um. okay that's interesting I thought it was right here on the front um, was it prior to this uh, let me head back oh man I think I had passed it up I think it was prior to this how do I get back that's a really good question by the way, I'm looking good on money, huh? Thirty-six, oh, or almost thirty-seven thousand um, dollars. Okay, well, let me go ahead and just tell you about it. Basically, your modification. Uh, let's go ahead and take a drive. Oh, uh, I have. <laughs> it might be good going to the job market and pick something. I'll, I'll go ahead and talk about it as we drive to give you something to watch. Um, I don't know where we should take a drive from. I really like Vegas. Uh, just because of the deserty part. I mean, I could go into Southern California, uh, but let's go ahead and try. I like the Peterbilt trucks. That's what I'm going to get when I buy my truck as a Peterbilt, basically because um, one of the main reasons is it has a nice digital display readout for the miles per hour on the uh, dash that the Kenworths don't. Uh, let's see where we go here. Okay, no, I want to take it, um, that takes it into California, which really wouldn't be a bad drive. Um, what am I taking? Fertilizer, uh, pays $11.90 a mile, $2,930. Um, what the heck? Let's go ahead and just grab that. And we're taking it to Darshell. I don't know how to pronounce that, but we are driving a Peterbilt, and I'll show you that digital display that I like so much. It's a standard delivery. It's not anything fragile, so it's not a big payout, and it's not going to give us tons of experience, but it's a drive. So let's just take a drive. Uh, Saturday at 
5.59 a.m. So we have got darkness right now. The sun is starting to come up. So let's go ahead and fire this puppy up. Um, we will turn on our lights, of course, our running lights and our main lights. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look outside. Okay, uh, looks like we're headed that way toward the exit. So we'll go in here. Uh, let me see what we got here. Okay, there's our maps. I'll stay on that one. Um, our information there. Um, okay, we're looking good. Looking good. So let's go ahead and go back to the map and fire this puppy up and get on the road. Uh, we got a very full tank of gas, so we're not going to have to stop for anything. Um, so what I wanted to talk to you about as far as modifications, um, for example, I, I got like six mods. I think I downloaded like six mods. And uh, the first one, I love branding. And I know that for some odd reason, uh, companies are not, not jumping and approaching SRS. I believe that's the name of the company, uh, the game company and saying, we want to be inside your game. Please put us inside your game. This is free marketing. We would even pay you for it because it's marketing. But um, they, uh, um, the, the, the company, the SRS, uh, who was uh, putting, unable to put a lot of brand names in. Um, as far as billboards, gas stations, they used phony stuff. Um, but these modifications by other people are allowing changes to be made to the game. So I've got a modification that makes it so, I want to watch my speed, makes it so all the gas stations are now real name brand gas stations. So I've got uh, Chevron, I've got BP, uh, I think I've got Mobile, uh, stuff like that. Uh, see there we go there's one right there Texaco that is a prime example that was not Texaco before it was some other weird uh, just made up name oh geez let's kind of get in our own lane okay uh, I gotta concentrate for a minute so bear with me here and it looks like traffic is starting to pick up here look at that big Ferris wheel over there it looks like there's a couple searchlights too that's awesome. Such great detail in this game. Okay, somebody please let me out. Eventually they're going to let me out, which is kind of goofy, but I like it because I don't want to sit here forever. Uh, another modification that I made, that I got, will give make the, the yellow lights last longer. The yellow lights right now last pitifully short time try and pull out here stop I hope this guy stops for me um, so it it lengthens the yellow light so you know you can actually get through them without getting dinged by a cop uh, the other things as long as we're speaking of cops another modification makes it so the cops aren't out constantly right now the cops are just in the game constantly see it two past us right within a couple seconds that's ridiculous um, so it lowers the fines and it also makes the cops so they're not out constantly. It's more realistic uh, Another one brands the billboards. So I'll see McDonald's billboards coke billboards stuff like that more realistic stuff um, uh, Let's see what else did I get I got a more realistic horn which uh, I haven't enabled yet because like I said I, I missed the modification screen uh, which I'll be doing hopefully before the end of this video, if not next time, which makes for a more realistic horn. And uh, you can get modifications to do almost anything in this game. Some of them are silly, but most of them are really good um, and, and add a lot to the game. So uh, this is like a never ending game to me, which I absolutely love. Uh, okay, what are we at? Uh, 55 
and oh I didn't turn on my there we go see you've got a digital speedometer on the Peterbilt's which I really like okay we're 43 I just like looking at it it's easier for me to see rather than the the uh, dials okay so yeah uh, modifications are very very cool and more and more people are building nice modifications we've got some hot air balloons over there so I like that um, I'm on my audio technica microphone instead of going through my microphone on uh, my headset I wanted to see if I could get better sound this way uh, it was kind of trebly and I didn't find a good way of uh, fixing that uh, with within the actual you know recording of the video I, I pr could probably fix it in post but I, I wanted to have it right out of the chute. Uh, still been looking for a nice racing wheel. Uh, here's our exit coming up here. A nice racing wheel. And I still want that, that Logitech one that has the, the racing wheel. Better watch where I'm going. Oh, train, 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 train. That's a fairly, oh no, it's kind of short. Um, anyway a nice racing wheel uh, with the uh, gear shift and the gap and the pedals Jeez, I'm all over the place see this is why I need a racing wheel and it just be easier for me um, especially when I'm talking because then it's just be like driving okay we got some cacti on the right I think that's the first time I've seen cactus and of course it looks just as good as the rest oh I need to get over oh man I got hit scared the hell out of me did you see that holy crap I got hit did you see <laughs> that freaked me out I there must have been somebody right beside me and I didn't look in my mirror that was really horrible Oh, I'm sorry for that, guys. I probably freaked you guys out, too. Holy crap, I did not expect that. Ah, shoot. I'm sure that dinged me for at least a thou, which isn't good. Doggone it. I thought I was okay on this road. Ah, I need a racing wheel. Please, please, racing wheel. But those things, the one I want is like 400 bucks. It's expensive. Uh, okay see now I'm a little wary I'm going 20 miles an hour in a 40 uh, it, that really freaked me out I can't believe I collided with somebody I don't know how much I got dinged for it like I said it was probably a thousand dollars that sucks okay let's get our mind back in the game and it's 40 so I need to slow down why is it 40 along here this is pretty barren I mean for a truck it makes sense to go only 40 but still I can't believe it okay I, I've got to put that behind me otherwise I'm going to be focusing on that too much and it's gonna take the fun out of this run alrighty we've got a windy road here windy road I was watching one of squirrels videos the uh, one of the main guys that does the truck sim stuff he's really good and um, he's also got a VR headset which um, attaches onto his hat I believe and what it does is it makes it so his head movements coincide with uh, or um, What's on the screen coincides with his head movements. So when he, I, I catch him a lot when he's uh, going into traffic, when he's merging onto the freeway, he'll look like this and it, it seems like very second nature. But then I find out he has got a VR head unit and it's just, it's just, you know, it's like the racing wheel. It just makes things easier it's more like real life so and, and I looked at the one that he has and it's like uh, around 150 
150 bucks. So it's not all that bad. Um, and um, and I, I don't know whether I'll get it or not. My, my main focus is on that racing wheel. Oh, we've got some weather, or not some weather, some wind units over there. I don't know what they're called. Are they still called windmills? I mean, I know they are like in, they used to be, but I don't know what they're called now. You guys are going very slow, some of you. I really would like to go sometime soon. This is a busy part of the, the freeway. A lot of traffic. Uh, another mod that I want to get that hasn't been made or hasn't been made well yet is a mod that changes some of the trucks, uh, some of the trailers into real trailers. So I mean you'll see like roadway, I think it's roadway, uh, yellow freight, um, stuff like that. Uh, Freightliner, um, UPS, trailers like that. But they also got some food trailers out there. So you'll see some, uh, some. oh yeah, I've seen Walmart too. Um, yeah, so stuff like that. I, I appreciate going into places that I recognize. I appreciate seeing Walmart and stuff like that. Um, on storefronts also, so I'm hoping to find a modification that'll change some storefronts and restaurants into to real names. Like I said, if I owned a business, I would be jumping on the chance to be in a game like this. Okay, um, I'm gonna set the cruise control so I don't have to worry about it right now. To cruise control to the old 55, which is exactly what we need, but I need to be watching. Um, yeah, so that's my story and I'm sticking to it right now. What do we got? We got like uh, a couple minutes left on this run in real time, an hour and 44 minutes in uh, American truck sim time. Okay. And there we go. Somebody's on vacation in their little camper trailer, their little RV. And we're doing well. Doing well. Except for that one mishap. But like I said, you know, it's it's all in a day. And I I will look at our damage. Hopefully I didn't damage the trailer. I didn't think about that. If I damage the trailer, I'm gonna get dinged for that sucker. Oh, and there is our turn off. I need to get over people. Please let me over. Please let me over. I'm just gonna hold up traffic here. See, this is what I get for talking. Come on, guys. Please let me over here. And... Okay, I'm gonna make a move here. See, even with a GPS, I can get lost. Just like... Uh, lost in a paper bag dude you need to move because I don't think I can do that are you serious you gonna sit there oh you dummy I don't know if I can make this oh and then you start going are you serious oh that was rude that was so rude oh my goodness <laughs> Oh, it's just one big disaster today. Oh, we got some clouds moving in. I don't think it's going to rain, though. It doesn't look like rain clouds. They're not real dark and gloomy. <clears throat> oh. What do we got? 55 here. I'm not going 55 on this street. It's too windy. Another modification makes the pavement sound different depending on what kind you're on. I mean, if if it changes over to a different texture of pavement, um, of roadway, then the sound will change. Oh yeah, just come on around. You're just too much of or in a hurry there. But I can understand it. It's 55 and I'm only going 30, so I can't blame you there. 
if I had taken up the entire roadway, you wouldn't have done that, would you, sucka? Ooh, air pain, air pain. Hi, air pain, air pain. Wow, it's windy up here. Look at the groves. I wonder if these, what kind of groves these are. If this is like wine groves or something. It's pretty interesting. Now we've got our destination coming up here. Windy, windy. Let's see, Nevada. So these wouldn't be like orange groves. They're not orange trees. Um, I don't know what they'd be. Any ideas? Let me know in the comments. Just trying to look around here a little bit as long as I'm on this back road. I do have a couple people behind me. I wonder if we're close to an airport. There's another plane. That guy was actually trying to pass me on the right hand side. Holy crap. Where is a cop when you need him? When I don't need him, they're all over the place. But it's just like when somebody's doing something illegal, then uh, they're just not around. Okay. i take our turn in here, I guess. And here's where we are. What does this say? Yep, it's a winery. So these are uh, groves uh, for the grapes and stuff. Nice. And we're dropping off fertilizer for it. Okay, that makes sense. There's a big patch of birds up there. Okay, let's see where we can take this puppy. I don't want to back in yet. I still don't feel comfortable enough. Maybe after I get a wheel, I will, or my own truck, then I'll feel comfortable backing in. But right now with somebody else's, I do not. And so, um, hold on. Can I come along the back? I'll try, because I'm facing the other way. Because I don't want to back in there. So hopefully we can turn around. Otherwise we may have to cop out. Hey buddy. No, I don't want to skip parking. I actually want to try and do this thing. Yeah, a big farm, big winery. A couple guys sitting around Gavin. There's the wine vats. I guess that's what you'd call them. Um, where am I parking here? Where's, oh, there we go. I was going, that is pretty skinny to try and get into, but I can do this. I can do this. I think I can. I think I can. What am I? Oh, geez. I didn't swing it far enough. Let's go ahead and swing this a bit further out. I've got a, a, that's a long, I don't know. I don't think I swung that far enough. No, I definitely didn't. I want to, oh yeah, okay, that's going to work now. I did fix that. I did remedy the problem. And there we go. Detach the trailer and we are done. So let's see the damage. Okay, we got an excellent though. Ah. <sighs> Bonus for parking trailer, proficiency. We got a proficiency of $112. So that, I don't know. Um, I should have looked when I had that accident, whether I caused any damage to either the truck or the trailer or both, but it doesn't say that I did. Um, so I'm I'm happy with that. I'll, I'll take the money and run. Absolutely. Okay. So, we've gotten to the point where we can go ahead and choose um, our next level, uh, what we want, whether we want to go har hazardous cargo of some kind, high value cargoes, fragile cargoes, because each rank is going to give us bonuses and higher rewards. Um, I just, I don't want to do just in times because it's just like quick, 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 quick type of stuff and I just don't feel comfortable with it yet. 
uh, fuel economy. Learning various fuel saving techniques will help you minimize your fuel consumption. Hmm. I may have to look into that. I'm not sure. Um, fragile cargo and high value. Let's see. What do you think? It looks like fragile gives us, um, let's see, a rank three. 15% reward as opposed to, well, they're both 15% rewards. So it really doesn't matter that much. Um, deliveries up to 400 miles. So we could get more deliveries. Let's do a long distance one. What do you say? That'll, that'll give us more money in our coffer if we want to uh, take one of the longer jobs. See, at rank two we go up to 650 miles rank three a thousand rank four 1600 miles oh my goodness i can't imagine i better get be become a better driver before we do that okay let's go ahead and apply that and there we go um do we have any new emails i didn't think we did nope nothing new nobody wanted to communicate with us no notes for mom hey mom Give me a call. Okay, so we are up to 38,000, almost 39,000 right now, which is nice. But uh, we, we reached a level five. Like I said, I do not want to go up to, or I do not want to buy my own truck until I get to level six. And we are in the realm of enthusiast here. So this is, this is a major milestone. Very nice. Um, yeah, it look. I, I'm not sure how to get back to it, so we may have. I may have to show you. <clears throat> excuse me. May have to show you the mods, um, and apply some of them, if not all of them, next video. Anyway, you guys have a good one. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.